All right, guys, I want to show you what I got done today, what's getting shipped out today. There's a couple other holsters getting shipped out today, too, but they're already packaged up and uh, ready to go. But I'm going to package this up, too. This is, um, this is half of a guy's order. The other half is already done, uh, and it's in a box. So I'm just going to show this right now. What he ordered was... Now, the good thing about my site is... Um, you can order the holster almost exactly how you want it. For instance, this is a right-handed light-bearing holster, has the O-Light on it, and he was very specific on things that he wanted. He wanted a slight, slight cant, which you can see it's maybe 10 degrees, okay, a very slight cant, and, you know, as long as it's written up in the email, Everything's written out or whatever instructions. Uh, we'll just do. We'll do everything you pretty much ask. Almost, almost. Some things people ask for. Just we don't have the equipment to do it. We just don't have it. You know. Just you're only as good as your tools. You're only as good as your equipment. And the equipment we have is not. You know, I'm not uh, a commercial holster company. Okay, this is custom. We have good stuff, don't get me wrong, but we don't have, like, injected molding equipment or anything like that, okay? So, if you see a little bit of wave on the side or something that's blended blended in and it kind of don't look just perfect, you got to remember, these are, these are made by hand, and as far as compared to the holster companies where they make holsters by hand, our holsters are very nice, okay? Um, I've seen them, I've seen them. Uh, you know, we go the extra mile, put it that way. So, you gotta remember that. So, uh, I got an email from somebody, he looked at the bottom of the holster, and there was just a slight little wave in the seam, you know, where the light was, and, and I told him, hey, hey, bro, that is absolutely, positively normal. I mean, you know, unless it's really out of whack, you know. But we always check that before uh, it goes out the door. And, you know, we make them as nice as we can with the equipment we have. And plus, um, the prices on my website are very reasonable compared to what I've seen out there with other holster companies for the work you're getting. So, the bottom line is, do the best we can with the equipment I have. So, anyway. Um... Glock 19, Glock 23, non-adjustable O-Light, slight cant, right-handed holster. There it is. That's for in case the guy's watching. And then he requested a Glock 26 with a flush cut bottom. Okay? Flush cut bottom. What that does is it allows him to use all the other Glocks, all the other 9mm Glocks in a holster if he wants to. He also wanted an adjustable cant. We do do that. We have a block for the adjustable cant. So if you just loosen the screws a little bit, um, this clip will swing back and forth and you can have it, you know, your gun canted any way you want. You just got to mention it, you know. That's a custom request. You just got to email me and I can do that. He also requested a 1.75 clip instead of a 1.5, which we have. He also requested the wing, which helps the butt of the gun can seal closer to your body. And there you go. That one came out pretty sweet. So as you can see, that's a Glock 26. Here's a Glock 19. It's going to fit a Glock 19. It's going to fit a Glock 23. It's going to fit a Glock 17. And, you know, it's going to fit a Glock 45. It's going to fit all the 9mm Glocks. It's going to fit them all. Okay. So that's why it is smart to get a flush cut holster. This way, uh, I mean, you really don't need the holster to cover the gun. It's inside your pants. So the muzzle of the gun's being protected by getting scratched up anyway. It's inside your pants. Outside the waistband, yeah, I can, I can uh, uh, see why you want the muzzle covered, at least all the way to the end. But inside, you might as well get something small where you can make one holster, you know. It'll be the use of like three or four holsters. So this is the wings that we use. These are the, probably the nicest ones I can find. And you got to remember, um, we everyone does it a, a certain way, and we use all 
uh, Loctite finish washers and screws. I see some people they don't use finish washers and it's just like just use finish washers. They cost next to nothing. They look so much better. They look so much better. And if and the screws fit flush and everything's smooth and it makes people feel like, you know, they're they're getting good quality for their money. Now when you flip it over, what I do is you're going to see this this part of the plastic sticking out further than here. What that does is it gives the wing it gives the wing more support so it doesn't press in and bend bend in. Now I see some holster companies do do that and some don't do that. I rather do that to give you a more solid surface for your wing and a friend of mine suggested that to me a long time ago and ever since I did it I think it was the right thing to do. It just makes the whole holster and wing system way more solid because the wing cannot be pushed down and and bow past this point it makes it very solid okay it's just you know little things like that that uh, are pretty pretty cool so that's what's going out today and of course this is a uh, same thing Glock 17 19 uh, double mag pouch this is all for one guy and like I said before there's there's no direction with these molds you can put them in it any which way you want um, I got the tension set but he can make it looser or tighter whatever he wants and this one came out pretty clean, pretty, pretty uh, symmetrical. That's my goal, to get things as perfect as I can, you know. But that came out really nice. So, bro, if you're watching, I got your other two holsters and these three jobs. They're all going to be get shipped in one package, and I hope you're happy with them. Guys, I'm going to put the link under the video. Check out the website, and like I said, if you don't see something there, you don't you don't want if you don't see anything there that you want just email me nine times out of ten we can do it we can do it because there's a lot of molds I have that are not on the website you gotta remember it's a very minimal website they only give you so many pages so just email you know like one guy wanted a inside the waistband for a SIG P238 now I have the mold for that but it wasn't on the website I think I put it on the website now um, it's just I don't think I'll be able to put every single mold on the website so what's cool about it is the website the very first page on the website if you scroll down there's a little box and you, you can just email us directly right through that little box it's so convenient and it's so easy so I think there was someone else that wanted a 226 uh, PK25 MK, sorry, MK25, which is a, it's a 226. It's a 226. An MK25 with a TLR1 light, he couldn't find a holster for that. And I told him, uh, as, he goes, I don't see it on your website. I said, just email me and I'll make it for you. I have everything to make that and never heard from him. So I don't, I don't know, maybe he found something on Amazon. But just to let you know, that that's what the deal is. We're still, we're still doing this. It's new. Um, there's still things we have to add to the website, so there's still a lot of things that are available that you can't see there. Okay, so that's it. Alright guys, um, my next project is going to be a Smith & Wesson 8-shot revolver performance center outside the waistband. Now, I don't have the mold for that, but he's a local police officer and he dropped it off for me to make an outside the waistband for uh, a decent sized revolver. So that's something I don't think you've ever seen before. I will definitely show you that holster when that's done. They come out real sweet, you'll see. Um, they always come out nice. All right, guys, have a good one.